Today I'll be showing how to change an O2 sensor on a Ford Ranger 2.3 liter engine. To find your O2 sensors, you have to go to the one number one cylinder. Find your number one cylinder and then locate the exhaust catalyte converter. So for 2.3 your first cylinder is going to be right here and this is your, this is your, there's your exhaust hoses your exhaust pipes so here's your exhaust pipes we're going to follow them we're going to go under the car or truck here's going to be your first O2 sensor so your exhaust runs all the way up to the first cylinder and here's your first first O2 sensor it's close to the transmission the cable runs on top of the transmission we're not going to change that one we need to change the downstream one so a four cylinder only has one bank which is located on the dryer on the passenger side so we're going to follow this exhaust pipe so one's after the catalytic converter and the second sensor is before the catalytic converter here I am under the truck, and this is our first O2. This is bank one, sensor one. Cable runs up to where the transmission is. And first sensor is after the catalytic converter. Cable runs all the way. Let me see if I can get a good angle. All the way on top of the transmission but right now right now we're not going to change that one we're going to change the one downstream this is the second one second o2 sensor this is bank one sensor two and there's a cable this one's much easier to access just pull it off gotta loosen this up and when you're doing four cylinder trans i mean when you're doing four-cylinder engines, your there's only one exhaust pipe and there's only two bank one sensors. But when you have like an eight-cylinder or or a six, I think it has two banks. So first bank is gonna be on the on the passenger side, and the second bank could possibly be on the driver's side, depending on the on the size of your engine. But right now, this one only has two sensors. Bank one sensor one, bank one sensor two, on a four cylinder engine. For the first step, we just remove this cable here. It's got like a little clamp thing. Just press right, press right here. It should come out. Once you disconnect that, you want to get like a socket, a special socket that has like a little hole right here. So you can just slip it in. You just mount it on the O2. Just like that. Once you got the socket in there, just turn. I need both hands on this. I'll come back right when I'm done. Okay, O2 sensor is loose. There we go. Now, put our new one on.
putting on the new one. As you can see, the cable goes on top of the hole. Like that way it won't it won't mess up the cable when you're putting when you're tightening it. Socket is preventing the cable from bending. Well kinda. <laughs> Now we both got our O2 sensor on the exhaust pipe, and now we got our cable connected. And all we need now is just zip ties to make this a little bit shorter because it could hit the drive shaft, or it could probably heat up on the exhaust. So that's the last step we have to do. But anyways, thank you for watching, and have a good day.